A journey through Croatia will unravel unexpectedly beautiful surprises, something you will surely remember for a lifetime. Croatia has diverse natural beauty, endless coastlines, and incredible culture. It is a country founded on tradition. Featuring the heritage and history of this nation, Croatia embodies experiences that can never be forgotten. It is a place of beauty that touches the soul. In this video, we will talk about our top 10 amazing places to visit in Croatia. So before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. You may also want to click the bell icon to get notified when we upload new travel videos like this. No matter where you start, it's easy to find amazing things to do in Croatia. Here are the top 10 places to visit in Croatia, from the north to the south. If you're planning a trip to this country, we guarantee you'll fall in love with this majestic place. 10. Krka National Park The Krka National Park is home to many unique and fascinating places. Several different footpaths, sightseeing tours and presentations, boat trips, souvenir shops, a museum, and dining establishments are among the available attractions and facilities. Several archaeological remains of unpreserved fortresses in the area surrounding the park, some of which date back to Roman times. Krka National Park, also known as Nacionalny Park Krka in Croatian, is one of the national parks in Croatia. It was given its name after the river Krka, ancient Greek, Kirikos, which is contained within the park. It can be found in central Dalmatia, along the middle, lower course of the Krka River, in the county of Ibnik, Nin, in the downstream Miljevci area, and just a few kilometers northeast of the city of Ibnik. It was established to safeguard the Krka River and is primarily geared toward activities in the fields of science, culture, education, recreation, and tourism. 1985 marked the year it was officially recognized as Croatia's seventh and most recent national park. 9. Hrvatsko Zagorj. The picturesque Zagorj region offers a taste of rural Croatia outside Zagreb's city limits. The environment, which consists of tiny villages nestled amid verdantly forested hills, vineyards and cornfields, and medieval castles, was tailor, made for relaxing road excursions and offers a laid, back contrast to the crowded southern Mediterranean region. A visit to this location provides a delightful absence of crowds, although this is less likely to be the case during summer weekends when families on day trips from the city congregate here in large numbers. The Zagorj region begins north of Mt. Medvednica, 1035 m, close to Zagreb. It continues all the way west to the Slovenian border, as well as all the way north to Veridin, which is known for its Baroque architecture. With Zagorj, you're in for a delightful experience. Whether your goal is to sample hearty cuisine in quaint eateries, get a feel for life in a traditional town, or explore historic castles. 8. Split. Split is named by the locals as the most beautiful city in the world and the Mediterranean flower. This is due to the city's ideal climate, which features two, 800 hours of sunlight per year. As a result, the city of Split is the birthplace of many well-known athletes who come from Croatia. Split is sometimes referred to as the sportiest city in the world. The football club Hedgeduck is the most famous and well-liked sporting institution. A significant portion of the city is decorated with the club's colors and logo, which can be seen in many places. Torcida, the most established supporters group in Europe founded in 1950, is responsible for this activity. In addition to the bell tower of Saint. Duhe, the Dalmatian dog and a donkey are the city's official symbols. The donkey once played an essential role in the farming industry and the transportation of goods through the Dalmatian mountains. Consequently, the locals hold this animal in very high regard. There is at least one snowy day nearly every winter in Split, typically in January or early February. The winters in Split are generally mild for Europe, with temperatures above 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. However, despite the common saying that snow only falls in the city once every 30 years, there is actually snowfall in the city at least once every winter. If you find yourself in split on a day that receives a significant amount of snowfall, you should prepare for significant disruptions in traffic flow. 7. Plitvis National Park The Plitvis Lakes National Park in the Republic of Croatia is the country's oldest and largest national park. People who appreciate nature have always been drawn to this region due to its exceptional natural beauty. Consequently, on April 8, 1949, it was designated as the first national park in the Republic of Croatia. Plitvis Lakes received international recognition on October 26, 
1979, when it was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List for its outstanding universal value, which is the process of tufa formation, through which tufa barriers and, ultimately, lakes are formed. This exceptional universal value was the primary reason for this recognition. The waters that flowed over the limestone and chalk for thousands of years deposited travertine barriers, creating natural dams. These dams, in turn, led to the formation of several stunning lakes, caves, and waterfalls. These geological processes are ongoing at the present time. Bears, wolves, and various endangered bird species make their homes in the park's forests. 6. Zadar. Palaces can be seen all across the city of Zadar. The urban identity of this Mediterranean and European metropolis is intricately entwined with the city's history, which dates back 3,000 years. Small and larger squares, tiny lanes, historic churches, and colossal memories from the past, as well as sumptuous palaces from the Middle Ages and later times, make up the face of Zadar. These palaces are gently leaning on the ruins of Roman and late, antique structures. 5. Mulje Island. Mulje, one of Croatia's most beautiful and unspoiled islands, is a haven for relaxation seekers and a top island in the country overall. A national park occupies the northwestern third of the island of Mulje. Within the park are two inland lakes and miles of trails for walking, cycling, and other forms of recreation. There aren't many people, no major towns, and just one major road that cuts through the pines, oak trees, and makia from north to south. Mulje is the Adriatic Sea island with the densest coverage of trees. Mulje, an island that can be found off the coast of the Pelgesac Peninsula, is easily accessible for an overnight stay all year round and can be visited easily for a day trip from Dubrovnik during the summer when ferries are frequent. There's only one hotel on the island, the Hotel Odisch in Pomona. However, there is a good deal of private accommodation on the island, most of which is located in Pomona and Polace. 4. Zagreb. Zagreb is made for strolling. Explore the beauty of the upper town, characterized by its red roofs and cobblestone streets and dotted with church spires. To get a good look at the domes and ornate upper, floor frippery of the lower town's mishmash of secessionist, neo, baroque, and art deco buildings, you'll need to crane your neck. Find the more seedy parts of town where local street artists have transformed ugly, bland concrete walls into colorful murals. These areas are worth exploring. Those who choose to walk will surely experience a feast in their eyes. This city's vibrant street life is encouraged by a year, round slew of events that bring music, pop, up markets, and food stalls to the plazas and parks. The cafe culture here is just one facet of this city's active street life. Even when nothing is happening, the city center buzzes with youthful energy, so it should be no surprise that Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, is now attracting the crowds that come for city breaks. Zagreb is a prime example of a city that defies its size. 3. Korkula Island. The island of Korkula is rich in vineyards, olive groves, and small villages and boasts a magnificent old town. It is the sixth, largest island in the Adriatic and stretches nearly 47 kilometers in length. Due to its dense pine forests, the first Greek settlers named the island Korkira Melena, Black Corfu. The steep southern coast is dotted with quiet coves and small sandy beaches, while the northern coast is flatter and more pebbly. On the island of Korkula, ancient religious ceremonies, folk music, and dances continue to be performed to the delight of a growing number of tourists. Enophiles will delight in tasting its wine. The indigenous Pazip grape produces arguably the finest white wines in Croatia, especially in the region surrounding the villages of Era and Smokvica. The GRK grape cultivated near Lombarda, also yields a fine dry white wine. The best beach on the island is Pupnatska Luka on the southern coast. 2. Dubrovnik. From the 13th century onwards, Dubrovnik, also known as the Pearl of the Adriatic, developed into a significant Mediterranean sea power thanks to its location on the coast of Dalmatia. Dubrovnik was struck by a powerful earthquake in 1667, but the city salvaged its beautiful Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque churches, monasteries, palaces, and fountains despite the devastation. A ring of stone, built fortifications and a dash of red, tiled roofs make Dubrovnik one of the most fascinating cities in Croatia. It rises between the half, baked limestone ridges of the Dalmatian coast and the perfect blue of the Adriatic Sea. Many hailed Dubrovnik as the most fascinating city in all of Croatia. The stunning, UNESCO, recognized old town is where the action takes place. 
Here, the Gothic edifices of Sponza Palace tower over the bustling boutiques and cafes on the main drag of Placa Straden, while many visitors come to check out the locations where Game of Thrones was filmed on HBO, others prefer to take one of the popular tours that circumnavigate the city's deteriorating bulwarks. Laphead Beach is another option for those looking to soak up some rays. The renowned Dubrovnik cable car offers breathtaking panoramas of the surrounding area, including the city and the coast. 1. Pola Arena. The amphitheater, also known as the Arena of Pola due to its history as the location of gladiator fights, is the most well-known and significant landmark in Pola, and it serves as both the beginning and ending point of every tour of the city's attractions. It was built in the 1st century AD when Emperor Vespasian was in charge. At the same time, the magnificent Colosseum in Rome was also being constructed. The longer axis of the ground plan measures approximately 130 meters and the shorter axis measures about 100 meters. The arena was the central, flat area of the complex where the gladiator fights took place. Spectators could either sit on the stone tiers or stand in the gallery. It is estimated that the amphitheater can hold approximately 20,000 spectators. The construction of it made use of limestone found locally. It was the location for jousting competitions and fairs during the Middle Ages. Because it can hold about 5,000 people, it is used for many events, such as the Pola Film Festival, concerts, opera, ballet, and sports competitions. As part of the historical and entertaining Spectacla Antikva, gladiator fights occur in the arena during summer. That's all for today's video. Have you been to any of these places in Croatia? Which of these beautiful places in Croatia will you explore first? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new travel videos. Let's meet again soon for another interesting destination. Stay safe and happy, and thanks for watching.